Hi again, my name is Rebel and I am the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week Monday through Thursday which will be June 27th through the 30th. Sales are good. So, you know, I'm doing my ending and sell similars. I'm keeping a sell on in my store. I have promoted listings set up. Um, and... I'm just, I'm listing 20 a day, some days more. Today I started um, being more diligent about listing clothing. Also, I've kind of been busy listing my own stuff and Robert's finally getting into a, a momentum as far as getting his stuff processed. So I'm going to start listing clothes daily and, you know, I'm hoping this is all building up to an amazing fourth quarter. So... All right, let me go ahead and pull up everything. I'm going to be doing back-to-back -back videos um, and uh, then getting... I've caught up on most of everything that I have brought in here and needed videos made of it. So, you know, now I might actually pull out some stuff to share with you from the Goodwill bins we did back in... I miss this up everything. I think March, Robert said, March. So, all right, here we go. Again, pay attention when I say how this thing sold because you're going to notice I sell a lot of stuff still on offers that I'm sending out. I, you know, I just kind of made that connection on how, how all of this shows up as far as the solds so but we're going to start off with a viewer sale so thank you very much Chantel. Chantel bought <laughs> bought this aurora stingray thinking that it was a hand puppet that i had shown earlier that week in a haul um and then wanted something else so she bought this for eight dollars and then she requested um the hand puppet and the gorilla that i had shown in that haul so I just made her her own little listing, and um, I so appreciate the continued support that you give me, Chantel. Thank you very much. She paid $15 for the big hand puppet and the gorilla. This is Toys by Daphne. It's actually a golf club cover, but I do always put hand puppet also in there because, you know, it's large enough that it could be a hand puppet, and I'm not quite sure... You know, if somebody's purchasing purchasing it, it may be for either purpose. Um, I picked up a bunch of um, golf club covers. They were all stuffed animals or characters. I want to say I paid a couple of bucks each. And this wolf sold for $15.99 on a best offer that was sent to me. This was a multi-order from... Um, a buyer, she had sent me a message asking if I combined shipping. Of course I combined shipping. And she went ahead and sent me offers on everything. Spent $89 on six bears. Stuffed animals. Um, and then I went ahead and sent her an invoice, combined invoice for everything. So that was excellent sell for me. This is JJ the Jet Plane. I usually pick up this stuff either, um, usually at the bins. This was one of the wooden um, vehicles, and it sold for $9.25. This is Old College in khaki shorts. I sent out a best offer, and it was accepted for $9. This is a gunned and Walmart Hedgehog Plush. It sold for $7.39. This is just a little plush. I'm sure I have pennies in it. It was probably from the bins. So, you know, everything adds up, right? Everything. These are, this is Writers by Lee button shirt. Sent out a best offer of $12, which was accepted. This I picked up at an estate sale. 
I remember I either paid two dollars on the full price day or a dollar on the half price day. I'm not I think it was the two dollars but it was left in. This is a porcelain horse um, and it sold for $32.50. It sold almost immediately. There were others similar to it, but there were none that looked like this. So I just kind of picked a price towards um, what some of the other ones um, were listed for. And it worked. This is Hobby Lobby. I like to pick up those brands. A lot of times they are just, you know, seasonal, you know, or things that just they're in their store for a short period of time, and I tend to do really well with them. This Hobby Lobby um, sloth sold for $16.69. Again, this is one of those things. It's been listed a while, and I did an end and sell similar, and as soon as my sell set in, it sold for the um, asking price. This is a Suns Out puzzle. Um, it sold um, on an offer that I sent out for $8.00. This is another one of those, we put all our puzzles together and then I list them to sell. Sometimes, you know, there are these bread and butter prices and sometimes I do well with um, other brands, but you know, it's something we enjoy doing and then I make a little bit of money from it. These are Wrangler Riggs workwear men's jeans. Again, most of the pants that we buy um, we bought a bunch at the bin, so that would have been based on weight, but a lot of times we just pay a dollar or two at yard sales. These sold on an offer that I sent out for $17. These are, this was another one of the um, metal hard rock CDs that I picked up at an estate sale. I think I paid 50 cents or a dollar for each. This has been one of those that um, sold for quite a bit, I think. It sold um, for $37.15. It's Saxon Metalhead. This is Hug Fun. I like that brand. Um, it was a gingerbread bear plush. Um, I sent out a best offer of $13 for it, which was accepted. If you see the red numbers, that means I've sent an offer out. Um, this is Scholastic Pink Pig Plush. Um, probably went with some book. I put the ISBN in, but I couldn't figure out what the name of the book was. Nevertheless, it sold on an offer that I sent out for $12. This is a Russ Bear Plush. Five inch. Um, had a little sack that says Happy Birthday. Um, I kind of went high with it, I think, and it sold for $23.20. Another viewer sell. Thank you very much, Lori. Lori has been a wonderful supporter um, and loves to buy my plush. So thank you very much. I know they're going to a really good home. Um, she, I'm going to show a couple of things she purchased. Um, she bought my IKEA dog, pl dog plush for $20 best offer. And then she bought this Manhattan Toys brown bear plush. I love it. It reminded me of Jelly Cat, but it wasn't a Jelly Cat. Um, and it sold for $20. So thanks again, Lori. This was a Hasbro Play-Doh Flip and Serve Breakfast set. Picked it up, I want to say, at a yard sale for like a dollar or something. Um, I always take the used dough out. I don't want to be selling that because you don't know what's, what's touched it. Um, so I always throw them away because it's easily replaced and this sold for $12. I think the thing to also to remember is if you're selling items that are Play-Doh and you use it how I have it spelt here, it needs to be either Play School or Hasbro. Don't mix anything else in because there's a lot, you know, Rose Art puts out stuff and there's other brands that put out just generic Play-Doh type toys. But don't use the word Play-Doh like that um, when you're selling um, this type item, unless it's Hasbro or Play School. This is Eden Raymond Briggs Snowman Plush, 14 inch. Um, sold it for $37.15. Always keep your eyes out. It comes in varying sizes and I always, it doesn't last very long and it sells for I think pretty good prices. 
I think I bought a bag of just dollhouse stuff. And this was in it. Um, and usually I list a lot of it individual pieces because somebody may need it to complete a set. I knew that this, it was marked Mattel 2000, so I was pretty confident that it was Barbie. Just kind of threw a price out there and got sold it pretty quickly. Um, I sent out a best offer of $7, which was accepted, so I'm happy. You know, you do that with a whole bunch of stuff, you know, a Ziploc bag that's full of Barbie stuff or Brat stuff or whatever, um, and you piece it out piece by piece, you know, you make a lot of money on stuff like that. This is Fiesta. It's scruffy penguin plush. I see a lot of um, these Fiesta type plush that have the word scruffy in it. I really think it might refer to like the um, ridged feet and beak because I've seen it on dogs and other animals also. Um, I sent a $10 offer out on this, which was accepted. Christmas in July. Christmas sells for me all year though, but I am really, I've got a lot that I've been picking up recently that I'm trying to get listed. Um, this was a needlepoint Christmas stocking. Um, I picked it up at a yard sale. I picked up a couple of things. They were overpriced on a lot of stuff, but for this one particular company that I go to, a lot of times they have their stockings and ornaments like a dollar and then I can pick it up half price um, for 50 cents. So I did take, I did send an offer of $15 out on this and it did sell. This is Carter's Just One You. It was a musical giraffe. It sold for $9.25. This was a vintage child's dress. I went to an estate sale. It's probably been two years ago, maybe, maybe even longer. Um, and they had had a boutique. And I picked up a few pieces, but their prices at this estate sale were like three and four and five dollars per item. I picked up a few things, um, some Oshkosh and stuff like that. And then I found out that they were going to be finishing off the auction, uh, the estate sale by auction. So I went on their, their, um, the listings and I bought quite a few things that day, but all of the rest of the clothes were in one lot and I was the only bidder and I got everything for five dollars. I still have quite a bit over here. I've been taking a few pieces over to my booth, um, but they just didn't tend to sell well there. Um, so I've got it in a pile over there and eventually I try to pick up a couple of pieces every once in a while and get them listed. But nevertheless, this was a VIG um, dress and it sold for best offer of $16. When you see this right here where it says um, best offer accepted, that means they sent it to me and I accepted it. I'm just figuring all of this out. I've been doing this a year and I'm just kind of figuring it out. All right, this was for my online high bid auction that I bought last year. Tons of vintage and advertising plush. This was Lysol, which I could only list this on eBay. Every other platform that I tried to cross list to because of the word Lysol, it wouldn't let me send it through. Um, but this was from 1983 and it sold for $23.20. The only, the only thing that I've had problems with listing on eBay was Zithromax. Some of the plush that I picked up and some of the advertising stuff. Um, I can't use that word, but anything else, any drug or pharmaceutical or um, company um, I've been able to use except Zithromax. All right, this I picked up at an, a yard sale. It was one of those long stretches of yard sales here in our town a couple of months ago. Um, everything on this like trailer was a quarter. So I picked this up for a quarter and took a best or sent a best offer of $24 and it was accepted. It's a good one. REI. This is Fisher Price Veggie Tales Junior Asparagus from 1999. It sold for $9.25. This is another one of those Say Win shot glasses. Um, I picked up, I want to say 
six or so. Um, four of them were very similar in condition and everything. So I put those four together and then I had two that were different. Um, I've already sold one of them. Um, but I did take this. Um, I sent an offer of $10 out on this and it was accepted. I want to say for the six, I paid like maybe $10 for the six of them. So definitely keep your eyes out for these. These next two items was from a single buyer. Um, Elvis, Elvis CD, I've had listed for a while. I No, I picked this up at the Goodwill bins when I was doing Courtney's um, scavenger hunt. You know, I just tried to grab a bunch of CDs that day and then ended up choosing something else for the scavenger hunt. But sent out a $5 offer on this and he accepted it. And then he sent me a, a uh, message asking, do I combine shipping, which I do. And he went ahead and bought this, which was from that estate sale. Um, so I paid 50 cents for a dollar for it. And um, I sent him a $19 offer on this item and he accepted all right this is Krisha playful plush I like that it reminds me of like the MTYs and the dandies almost always it's vintage this was from 1988 I sent out a $15 offer which was accepted a wool coat in July it was from American Eagle I sent out a $30 offer and it sold These next two orders, again, was from a viewer, so thank you very much, Sherry. Sherry's been a big support also of my channel. She's bought a few things for me on Mercari also, and she's usually comes into my lives, which remember, from now on, my lives are going to be on my other channel, so make sure you go and subscribe to that channel. It's the, the Rebel Reseller Hangout, and it's also my toy testing channel. Um, but this first skin sold for $16.69, and then she bought um, this very cute Zoo Babies Gorilla Hand Puppet, which was $7.39. I think there was one more item, but it didn't make it into my stuff for some reason. So thank you very much, Sherry. This is Boyd's Bears, first Christmas from 2002. I pick up some Boyd's Bears. This was one of the littles. I was hoping it was going to be, you know, something big, but I think because it's so limited to because of the date, um, I ended up taking a $10 best offer on it. All right, these next um, orders are off of eBay. This was Facebook, Poshmark, and Mercari. I've not had any sales for a while now on Etsy. Um, but I am starting to do some more cross-listing to Etsy and then Bonanza. Bonanza's hit and miss for me, but, you know. All right, this is a Facebook order. This was Barrington Bear, 8-inch plush. Um, it sold for $6. And then these two vintage Fisher-Price Little People, and they sold for $11. They both had the, the wood body, so I went ahead and um, put them together. Then I had quite a few Poshmark orders, um, which is funny, you know, last week I sold a lot. This week, I don't think I've sold hardly anything. So I say I'm going to cross list more daily, but I keep getting distracted. So, you know, you got, just like with eBay, you've got to be um, consistent or your sales just kind of waffle on you. But this was a honey crock pot stoneware um, bear container. It had the honey grabber with it. Um, we picked this up at an estate sale. It's been quite a while, but I just recently cross-listed it to Poshmark. And it sold for $21. This is Tommy Bahama. It was a silk shirt. It was nice. It felt, you know, it was a nice shirt. Probably picked it up around here for a dollar or two. Um, it sold for $18. This is Levi's men's jeans. They sold for $15. Another pair of Levi's. These were women's jeans. Um, black in color. They um, sold for $45. I think they sent me an offer. I had the price much higher, but just decided it's time to be gone. 
This I picked up at the Goodwill bins while I was doing Courtney's scavenger hunt. Um, it was a Lacoste belt and it sold for $18 on Poshmark. And then I picked these up at an, an an estate sale or a yard sale recently. I think I paid a dollar for it. It was just um, Charlie Brown peanuts, uh, a valance curtain, and it sold for $25. And then these shorts, short shorts. This is by the Almost Famous brand and they sold for $12. And then three on Mercari. This was just a two inch teeny tiny figure. It was Hampton um, from Warner Bros. It sold for $6 on Mercari. This was a Whit Whitman's candy plush. It sold for $11. And then this Disney Parks Little Mermaid cup. I wanna say I paid $3 here recently at a yard sale and it sold for 15. So that's it. That was Monday through Thursday. I'm going to turn right around and get the weekend sales together. And then I'm going to start really listing, getting a lot of stuff processed this week. This week, I think, I, let me see. Let me make a guess. I'm going to shoot for, let's say, 150 to 200 um, things processed. That's my goal. Monday through Friday. Well, already today's... Oh yeah, today's Monday. All right, bye.